we keep it rolling. Yes, sir. Bro, um, hope everybody's had a great day today. We had a little bit of a we uh, took we relaxing took, day. We took a one-hour vacation to a place called Gaddy Town. Yeah. And wait, when we were um the basketball. Yeah. John win. I win. Yeah. I, I got the high score. Okay, but that's you all I didn't think about. That's I all got I the high score, but you won. You won. Two out of three. Yep. So I kicked his ass in basketball. See, I got the headphones on. I'm talking more shit today. Hey, it's tragic. Hey, I will catch anybody in Lexington on the court. I don't care. I might on not the win, court, but on I don't. I'm not ducking no basketball smoke. On the court? Yeah. Like one on one? I don't care. You many people watch this that like are probably hoopers? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, know I mean, I don't know, bro. But if you're a hooper in Lexington, let's get a bucket. Let's drop a bucket. Like yeah, I said, no, I'm, call, not, I'm not even the best. But. If you want Area 51 basketball tournament, that would be crazy. Hey, we we will set that event up, play money, but like we could do like a thousand dollar team prize or something like that. Shit, That'd be super sick. Whatever, however much y'all want to bring, we'll we will set it up. I'm down. Basketball. I tournament. would. You down? Yeah, no, like um, yeah, no, because now that we got a good consistent people like we coming back and actually tell like telling us what we should do and stuff like yeah, what they want to see from us like this, how do y'all feel about a basketball tournament yeah just thought like um yeah no i would I, I would organize that i wouldn't hoop because no we'd be uh we'd be the guys with the mics hey this motherfucker yeah i get the mic and i'd up. be oh my god <laughs> i would not be hooping but i'd be flaming y'all out there i would be like bro be i talking def- shit on the on, on yeah the, it'd be super fun <laughs> super funny there'd definitely be some people get crossed up and shit I think that would be hilarious, but no, nah, bro. We did have a good day. We got uh, a little bit of relaxation. Got some, uh, got some good, uh, good time to process our thoughts. You know what I'm saying? I think that's good to do every on a no, yeah, basis. definitely. Like, um, you know, every you know this stage in life. Well, depending on where you are on your stage in life, but we're young, young, we're so young, young adult at this point. Yeah, but stress. I mean, stress comes all shapes, sizes. No, it really does. But the kind and of stress, the kind of, the kind of stress you have as a young man, and the fact of not even young man, young adult uncertainty, un- agree uncertain uncertainty about like where your life. Well, is where are you the fuck? Yeah, you don't know where you're going. Like no, exactly. you know, I do. I, I, I'm not there yet in that stage of life, like forty, fifty. Yeah. But like you know, you've had some years under your belt, so you're like. Bro, you, you, you kind of can see some stuff coming. Like you still will have stress at that age, more obviously. Yeah, different kind, a whole completely different kind yeah, of stress. Yeah, so though. like you know, we just were just like fuck. Like yeah. let's go to Gaddy Town. Like yeah. ease off, and I feel completely better now. And so no, does he. It's like, really good, and we were talking about this earlier. I think it's really good, especially if you're a busy person and you stay busy a lot of the time. I think it's really important to give yourself that time to relax and you know refresh your brain, bro. Because if you're trying to have ideas, trying to be a creator, be creative, you're a painter, whatever the case may be, it's good to always be able to take a step back and have that uh, that time to rejuvenate your brain and. uh Bro, it, it, it's bad. You know, you definitely can get too clustered in your head. Or no, definitely. That's not a little weird. But, but also, for people out there, you young, ambitious people trying to get money, trying to get bread, don't get that confused with an excuse to take a break. No, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't just be like, oh, I did one hour of homework or I did one hour of work. Right. So now I need to go relax. Just because you work hard doesn't mean you can take breaks. Yeah. Sometimes the Take break- that break to declutter what's going on up here. So like, when you come back, you can go even harder. And, That's and, the best way. And treat yourself. Like I, I was I was talking to um, one of my friends. He just um, got his associates this year in social work, passed all his finals. Congrats to you, bro. Um, and he was telling me, he's like, bro, you just need to like, you're doing too much to yourself, bro. Like you just need to like, Take that Treat yourself in yeah. the right way. Right. Don't just be taking a break to get lazy. Like, reward yourself. A productive break. Yeah, a productive break. Like, set something up. Bro, they yeah. try to, and you know what's crazy? They even try to teach you that at a young age. Just a lot of people, like, for instance, I vividly remember in school some teachers being like, hey, if your homework's being a little too much, take a little break. Yeah. It's a 10 minute break. Or even like, you know, those cool teachers in school that would like, you'd be taking a test and they give you like a 10 minute break. They give everybody like, Zane, a, you, can't a talk, you, can't, you can't talk to the audience about school. <laughs> I'm not talking about grades wise. We all know we've said this on the podcast before. I was not the best school student. Zane had to have a teacher. Zane was the kid in class where you had to initial. The teacher had to initial to make sure he didn't. He made sure he behaved in class. Hey, bro. Hey, I'll tell you. So what, that's though. probably why the teachers were like, bro. They, <laughs> they probably hey, were like, you can't y- take a break. Y- y'all can't even tell me I'm wrong, though, because, you know. Me being one of those students, 
I feel like I had such a better relationship with the uh, some of the teachers. Yeah, they had like they'd be like, bro, like I'll they'd buy, actually I'll, talk to me. Like, no, he, they'd probably be like, hey, bro, like just do your work and behave, and I'll buy you canes. Like, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> bro? I'd see. Yeah, that's probably what it was like for you, bro. And, and what I was about to say, like, though, just is like, please don't disturb. Like, I will like I'll buy you a chicken, bro. Just don't fucking disturb the class. Today. <laughs> like, just shut up, Sh- shut up. School was definitely a trip for me because I had lots of ups and downs in school. I was definitely not. Uh, I did not go the normal route in school. You know, that was um, definitely a, a difference that I had whatever. to make a big change because I was very. Uh, so I still, of course, have ADHD, but. Um, <laughs> Of you course, don't got ADHD. You got ADHD times three. <laughs> Not nah, anyway. So I definitely was a very hyperactive kid, and it it took me a lot to understand why I didn't. Or uh, a lot of people can relate that. to that because phones. Let they, me rephrase they that. Make pe- I was very a hyper. I was very hyperactive as a kid, but uh, it took me a while to realize why I needed to control it. You understand? So like, um, a lot of people they will. Um, or control it and embrace it. So, for instance, now that I'm older, I feel like I can uh, target certain things, like use my ADHD for certain things. So, say I'm trying to work really, really hard on something, I can target my ADHD on that. It might make it hard, like after I'm doing it too long, but that's where taking that little break actually helps a yeah. lot. You know what I'm saying? So, now I can focus really hard and use my ADHD to my advantage, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Oh, because. Yeah. A lot of people they try to uh, they try to hide their uh, their um, things that make them unique. Why, uh, like for instance, why somebody would say that ADHD is a really bad thing? Some people say it's a sort of a good thing. It's you know just, what I'm I mean, it's just like everything else. Like another man's trash is another man's treasure. Exactly. It's yes. however, it's however you look at it. In this. No, I completely agree. This fucking. But uh, world. yeah, bro, it, it's hard as a kid. It's hard to. Uh, Go through school and try to sit there and listen to somebody. No, definitely, think, but fuck school. Fuck, I'm done. Fuck school. Yeah, fuck school. No, fuck school. If you're if you're in school right now, it teaches everybody something different. I'm only saying fuck school because I'm not saying fuck college. I'm saying fuck school. Yeah, that's different. It's forced. Yeah, you don't have to get. Everybody learns school. differently. That's. <laughs> I think that's so important because. For instance, like no, I said, I am a hands-on learner. I was not always the best with a book. Some people are literally the exact opposite. Though. How many you books did some... you read in high school? I didn't read one. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I told you I got the headphones on today. I'm talking so shit. So listen, I'm, no. I'm talking out shit. Out of the books I was supposed to read in high school, I think I read zero. But in middle school and elementary, of course, those books that like, you read, it's read not... together. I, I definitely read those. But the ones... No, Cat actually... The hat. <laughs> no, no, you know what's funny though? Actually, I did read. I'll give you $50 if you read me the cat in the hat out loud. Deal. Shake on Can it. Can you do it? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I got the headphones on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But no, bro. I'm oh sorry. I'm joking. Gosh. Joking. Come on. You sound make like a- 50 Cent right there. If you know, you know. Oh, of that video. He's of like, him talking he's like Floyd. He's like, Floyd, I'll give you, you know, can't say that. Yeah, you can't really say it. But, yeah, he, but that, was that was hilarious. That was hilarious. But, um,. No, I think everybody learns differently. Like I said, it's hard for somebody, especially as a young boy. I feel like learns differently, bro. You just learn. You, most of the time, you just learn what you want. I mean, uh, there's a, I'm a if you want to learn something, bro. It's, sometimes it's like say your little saying, say your quote. What you mean? If you find something you like, oh yes. If you find something you love, you'll never work a day in your life, bro. And I live by that, bro. I live by that because, bro. If you, it's not going to work if you enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? People call it work because they hate it. Like if you're, bro. Say say your job, bro. So say uh, old Jimmy down the street, right? Say uh, favorite thing to do is work on cars, right? I mean, absolute favorite thing to do. When he's off of work, he goes and works on his car, right? Him going to work and working on a car ain't bad. He's getting paid to do what he enjoys. You know what I'm saying? Why would you call that, or why would that be considered a bad thing? You know what I'm saying? No, exactly. Or and back off with uh, what everybody seems to like when we do our solo episodes, right? Oh, so, the the mind bending stuff they keep requesting. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. Because I like I like looking into that stuff. I like learning oh, yeah. more about it, and I like educating people on that some of that stuff. That. Well, telling them what we know. I don't want to always say educating because, you know, educating when it, when it comes to know. conspiracy theories, you know, it's always I everybody wishy-washy. watching. I think everybody watching this knows we're not scientists, so I don't think. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> it's like, like the people that believe in flat earth, bro. I mean, it's like, bro, you, you're letting yourself get consumed by this shit that you really don't know. Okay. Like, I understand the conspiracy thing, but if you believe in flat earth, bro, like you have to be trolling, bro. You have to be trolling like. 
Hey, and like I said, I've said this on the podcast before. I'm not saying it's real, but I can see where people would see the things that they see no and then they, they get consumed. That's what I'm saying. Like, There's no, okay, there's, there has to be such a, such a, such a small percentage of people that have heard of Flat Earth is like, this is real. Like who? No, like, but that's what I'm saying because they hear really it. They hear these history. facts. You know, like the last person thought the Earth was fucking flat? Like fucking Christopher Columbus, like George Washington, like... They thought the earth was flat. Yes. Actually, I want to get into something with that because, bro, Say I've, I've thought about this, bro. Yeah. So you have all these conspiracy theorists talking about shit that happened so long ago, bro. Yeah. You, know, you want to hear some shit about George Washington? Real though? quick. It's sure. hard to even it's hard to even base like a conspiracy theory or uh, an idea off of some of the things that happened a long time ago, bro, because the knowledge that we have now is nowhere even near the same as what they well, do. Yeah. What about it? So like. For instance, Christopher Columbus, he probably thought the earth was flat because there was no technology to say that. Bro, back then, that's like, I mean, just think about... I'll give you an exact example. So there's people that use all these old-ass maps to pretty much, like, like and I'll give you an example. So there's people on TikTok, there's conspiracy theorists on TikTok TikTok. that will post all these old maps and saying that it's flat, right? I hate TikTok. They'll, they'll, uh... Just kidding. They'll post, um... All these videos about, or... Well, yeah, what are you trying to say this whole point? So, these conspiracy theorists on TikTok, right? They'll post pictures and uh, old maps of people that made flat earth maps, right? Well, yeah, because But it makes no sense to me because... It wouldn't make 150,000... Not 150,000, but like 150 years ago, bro, we... it was a lot more realistic for somebody to believe the earth was flat. Does that make sense? There was no telescope to be able to... Well, yeah, but what about all this, though? Like... Cause all you just have it's, to say, it's hard to base shit that happened 150 years ago off of shit now. Like for instance, these people that post these clips on TikTok, they're posting pictures that are from 150 years ago, being like, "Hey, look at these. The Earth is flat." Oh, so you should have just said, "If you believe in flat Earth, you're a fucking moron." <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's all you had to Bro, say. You didn't have to say that long drawn out. I thing. want all the flat Earthers on TikTok to please explain to me if you're why. On a fl- if, if you're a flat Earther. Please explain to you us know, why you believe I, I, this. I will pay you my last paycheck if you give me a valid reason. Bro, they're going to flood it. They're going to flood, flood it with it. why they think it's fucking. Bro, I'm I'm fucking done talking about fucking flat earth. Okay, let's get into something because else. Let's get into something else. there is not no damn flat. Bro, I agree though. I that's agree. like saying fucking. That's like the fucking people think Mark Zuckerberg's a lizard. You know, hey, that shit? I don't know though, bro. I don't know that motherfucker. They say he don't. They don't see seeing him in t-shirts much. Like I'm sure if you Google Mark Zuckerberg in t-shirt, him in t-shirt will pop up, bro. Like oh, I said, but he getting real sweaty oh in gosh. his eyes. We will. I'm. I'm gonna tell you something about Mark Zuckerberg. Tell me, bro. Something. He was doing an interview one day. Okay, you may have seen this. You may have not. Mark Zuckerberg was doing an interview one day, and the interviewer asked him to take off his jacket. Have you seen? That's this? what I'm talking about, bro. Did you see what was on the inside of the jacket? What was on the inside of the jacket? It was like some Freemason symbol or some shit, bro. It was crazy. But real though. But bro, I'm not joking. We'll we'll uh bro, we'll make we'll put a picture up there. Bro, Mark Zuckerberg took off his jacket and it had some type of weird Freemason like okay. Yeah, at the time that we're saying this, we don't know the exact image, but we will pop up an image. Yes. Bro. So you do know what you're talking about, and then you can you can Google more about it. Yes. So you know so the viewers yeah. Bro, it's crazy because okay, so just Let's let's put the instance uh, out there. So imagine being on an interview and you have your jacket on, right? You, I mean, obviously when you're going into the interview, you don't expect your interview to be like, hey, will you take off your jacket? You know what I mean? Or or something along those lines, like let me see the inside of your jacket. Like, you know what I'm saying? So imagine he's wearing this jacket, bro, and then his interviewer asks him to take off the jacket. What's he supposed to be like? No, I'm not taking off my jacket. Like that seems sus, right? So then he opens it, bro, and it's the fucking whatever's embroidered in it. That is crazy to me. Bro, that, we need to know what's in that. Bro. That's we like can't, almost we one can't of those. We talking about it if we don't know what's in it, bro. That's like, like can, a slip up, bro. Like, what I'm just saying, like we need, we wish, I wish we knew right at this moment. That's like one of those slip ups, bro. Like of, uh, for instance, say he is a Freemason or say he is something along those lines. That is one of those slip ups, like. Oh, I I don't think there's any damn near any billionaire on this planet that has nothing to do with that because yeah. when you have that much money you control like a lot of shit and you're just gonna be tied in like that's just how no exactly so bro i i, th- I don't know if we've ever talked about this on the podcast but this literally goes exactly with what you just said so 
I think it's I think it's crazy how many people like how many normal people or how many everyday people have something to say about these people because bro what are pe- you talking about people like Elon Musk people like Jeff Bezos people like Mark Zuckerberg bro there is no possible way of somebody that lives any type of lifestyle like ours for them to understand how they actually work and what they think and what they are doing like bro and I'll give an example so we think we know so I'll give you an example so say Elon Musk's buying Twitter right everybody thought that was some big deal everybody had a fucking opinion on it right what if there's an underlying thing to that that just nobody knows there, like and there I'll give you definitely an, is no exactly but I'll give you an example but, so but, say but, he's but buying even, but us People know that stuff, though. P- people know that there's... No, people know that, but people so know many people... everything swept under the table. We, we yeah. know that. I know that. You know that. Right, but people people are so quick to give an opinion on shit they don't know anything about, That's bro. And it's life, amazing to bro. me. You just see something and you just spurt out what you see. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, like I said, I just think it's weird how, like, and, bro, the the politics that happened when Elon Musk bought Twitter was crazy. Like, it's so stupid. And like I said, there, there could be so many things that are... Uh, only Elon Musk knows why he would do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what it seems like to the public might not be anything of what's actually going on. What gets me, I'll say one thing about kind of like powerful people. I feel like, okay, for example, you know how you see videos of, what is you's big example? There's a lot of videos of like Elon Musk walking freely in the streets, like no security, no people. Right. Cause nobody wants to rob him. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say nobody. <laughs> You'd benefit nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like, you obviously get hit. You know, what? okay, what I'm trying to say is this. People like him don't carry anything that's able to be stolen. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to know about that. Okay, let me put Bro, it- no, what I'm trying to say is this, bro. Okay, if he's walking on the street, no security, just him and one person. Yeah. No nothing. Well, how fucking easy do you think it is for somebody that's like, as you were saying, secret society stuff, yeah. to get to him and say, bro, like, we're going to murk you if you don't buy Twitter because we're right. here for this reason. Like, it's so easy. Like, you know what I'm saying? That is. Like, if I can walk up to Elon Musk on the yeah. street, what do you think somebody with actual power, power would do? Yeah. No, that is, that is weird. That's no, crazy. No, but anyway, bro. No, it, it is. They can suck them in so easy. But see, my but what I would say to that is like, if I was a secret, uh, some type of secret society, bro, I, I wouldn't even approach them like that. It would be more along the lines of, bro... It's so hard to even say because, bro, the secret society. Because whenever we talk about it, we're so wrong about it because we just are so. Don't know. Everybody just doesn't know. Like, we're literally, like, we sit here and talk about secret society, but we're sitting here just throwing guesses up in the air. Like, throwing throwing whatever we've heard from the media. Right. That's a. It's it's hard. I I hate that so much of what I do know just comes from fake media. Like,. I think if you if you're uh, an intelligent person, mm. that you, you take what you you. I mean, yeah, with a grain of salt, yeah, but you yeah, don't yeah. know, bro. You don't like you. Just, okay, okay. Think about this, bro. The year is 1450. Yeah. You're a Native American in the fucking field hunting buffalo. Right. Okay. Like we we're saying earlier, you believe the. Okay, you're like a smart Native American. Right. Like. A native, like you know how to hunt, you know how to gather food, you know how to survive off the land. Right. You have to be pretty smart to do that. Yeah. Like you're able to look in the sky, tell what time of the day it is, where the sun. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? You have really good survival. You're smart. Okay. Well, but you still think the earth is fucking flat. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Like we and you, we can be smart guys or whatever, but we don't know because it's just. It's not. It's, yeah. So, it's not enough. so do you really take with the grain of salt? Or are you just like, well, I hope it's true. Let's hope life doesn't self destruct, bro. I think I think it's it, like it, NASA. It's so fucked because, bro, we it, don't we don't know no no we don't know the reasons for shit. Exactly. Because fucking, what bro. I was seeing earlier, NASA gave a okay. Let me just, bro. You won't even like this shit doesn't make sense. Like, I understand Let's they test it. animals and shit. Um, no, you hear about how NASA giving spiders drugs. No. NASA giving spiders drugs. For what? But not just like to get them high. Yeah. Like, um, experiment. <laughs> no, I know for sure they gave a spider, um, no, for sure I've seen this. Um, they gave a spider LSD. They gave a spider marijuana. A lot of other stuff. Yeah. A lot of other like stuff. Like just different drugs. And they didn't just give it to them to give it to them. They didn't want the spider to create its web and see if the web. Oh, what shaped. pattern it would make. Yeah. Yeah. And each time, after each drug it gave it, it, um, did a different, it, it was different. Yeah. Drawn a different pattern. That's crazy. Bro, that's like, that can just go into like how people react off drugs. That's cool. No, most like, definitely. Yeah. I, I, I just think, 
you know what makes it cool is the fact that it's like a spider and not a person because obviously like it's here it, bro here you want some fucking lsd well right. go we'll, we'll see what you do like obviously yeah, we it, know they're gonna react but it's just like it gave, why does a nasa different. uh they're not even a billion they're gotta be a, what, a trillion dollar company oh gosh yeah. oh gosh like i don't even like it's i don't even Numbers stuff I shouldn't even. NASA has unlimited about. money. Let's just say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. No, nah, but like. Oh, you're trying to why? go to the moon. We'll give you as much as you need. Some we're shit. we're gonna I'll print all this shit and just give it to something. You. But why are they giving spotters drugs? LSD and shit? I, I agree with you. That's yeah, bro. Weird. And but I want. Okay, I wonder. Is do you think there's any actual scientific benefit from that? Like I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, do you think purpose way sci- deeper than us as the media and viewers and consumers would understand. Would, right, bro. I think uh, I think that that's very important that we do science with animals and stuff, though, because I think, and you know, obviously, uh, being from the U.S., we are hindered from this a tiny bit, I believe, because you know, Western society is not um, uh, the most fond of natural things because it's not money related. You see what I'm saying? So what, what or what about? I'll say about that is. I feel like in Western culture, we are taken a taken away from all the things that our earth has to give. Does that make sense? Like in Western culture, we are the only, I don't want to say only, but we are the, like the main civilization or the ma- main group of people that goes to the doctor for anything. Like a lot of different cultures, they will try to heal themselves at home first. Yeah, no disrespect, bro, to any other country, but it's probably because medical attention is a lot more available here than it is in other places. Right. That's but how much of it is it, needed? How much of it is actually needed? And how much of it do we cause ourselves? Like how much? A of, lot. But at the go- same time, like whenever I go to the doctor, it's been because I have a like the flu when I'm like yeah. growing up and shit like why would I want to heal that myself well that's you bro you gotta think of how many people go to the doctor for like a stub like toe. it's not like my like, foot fucking hurts and like I need to go to the doctor no like I said well, you, if you go to the doctor for a stub toe you're just a <laughs> pussy I mean if your toe's broken then you're not a pussy <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> like, like if your toe's broken if your toe's swelled up black then you're yeah. not a pussy but you know what I'm saying but what I'm I, just like fuck ow, I stubbed my toe right like, well the reason why I brought it up is because how like I wonder how much we can really learn from our earth like how much of our science is explainable if we were to do more research with our earth like why now are we fucking giving spiders LSD like what like I said what real scientific benefit know. do we get ask, from that ask Mr. Professor at NASA no. NASA no shit Loud we don't bro Shay, shout out hey shout out my favorite athlete, J.R. Smith, 4.0. Fist bump. Oh, to fucking you. golf pro, too. Golf pro won the ship more than once. And now he's hitting holes in one, getting 4.0. Bro, I aspire. I aspire. Yes, sir. Hey, it's never too late to go to college. We've talked about that plenty never of times. Never too late to go to college. Yeah. So, right there. Or 